Hello and welcome to this video. It's going to be using Corel Paint Shop Pro X9. So we'll start off by going into Corel Paint Shop Pro X9. There you go. Can't be bad. <laughs> and these are all raw images along the bottom here that I took at Chester. So everyone's a raw image by the very first one. This one you're looking at here is a JPEG. Now I'm going to put the raw up for you to see it. And that's the raw. Now you can do anything you want with that, really. And it will always look like that. So let's go to something distinctive. Uh, the Queen's Hotel there. You can see it's been taken at an angle, so it's tilting down to the right hand side. And we've got some cabs here at the front that I could do without, without having, because I'm really just interested in that Queen Victoria image there. So we'll click on it to edit, and now watch what happens because it's a raw image. You're given two. A before on the left and an after on the right. And just to show you, I'll come up here and we'll go with the brightness. Ooh, we'll darken it down. Poof. There. And that stays the same. And that's what your RAW will do. It will stay the same. Whatever you do with the image, your RAW will stay consistent because your image will be changed to a JPEG because you're doing what the camera would do. The difference is you took the photo, you know what you want it to look like. Also down this side, I'll just take it to one image. You can do that on here, single, there. This is the one we're working on. You can't see the raw now. And here, you've got highlight recovery. We don't need it here. There are no highlights burning the photo out. But if you had, you can change it to normal, white, balanced or colour. And each one has a different effect. This this one doesn't need it. This is okay. And as shot, well, it was shot in daylight and it was cloudy. Now, did you see immediately it went yellowish? I can take that out. I'm not too worried about it. We'll try daylight. It's a bit better. Now, I'm going to accept that. We'll see what happens when we get it across to work on it in the editing. All right, this is the Corel Draw front page, if you like. Over here I have on view my materials and so on. You can have various palettes. You can have an overview like that one there. Don't like it, but you can have it. <laughs> and you can have an organizer. It's just organize your photos at the bottom. There we go. So everything, you play about with it. Get what you want. There, that's your organizer. Now, I'm going to see what size this is. Now, if you look down to the bottom right there, it says 5488 by 3664. That's about 18 million pixels. But it is in RAW and it will print up to a heck of a big size. I'll just take a little snippet of it uh, there and we'll blow her up. There you go, there's Queen Victoria. I've not done anything, I've just trimmed it and that's it. Now we'll go back and downsize it. Now first of all I want to straighten the image up. So down the left hand side here, you have straightening tools and you have a perspective one and a straightener. I just want the straightener at this stage. And what it is, it's just a straight line. So we'll put it on that bit of balustrade and across to this one and double click it. And you'll see the image straighten itself up. There you go. <laughs> Not so bad bit too far I think yeah 
do it again and back it comes and now we want to get rid of these vehicles at the bottom use the crop tool and accept that okay and then we'll go into adjust and we want to alter how it looks the color for a start off so we'll go to fill light and clarity that gives us the choice of both I'll raise the clarity it also raises what you would call the HDR effect high definition resolution so that looks a bit better now the stone wasn't yellow but it was cream so I'm going to pick up my eyedrop here and I'm going to take a sample there and then up to here and we'll go white balance now that's better that's more like it I'll dial it off a bit more that's lovely okay and then we'll go up to adjust and we'll take the hue and saturation and I'll go vibrancy and that's about it it was more vibrant to the left than the right because of the sun I'm going to adjust it to let you see I'll take it right to the left and there you got black and white <laughs> and right to the right and it'll dazzle you there you go <laughs> you have to be careful when you're using it but remember the raw image stays the same okay we'll accept that and I'll save that now it'll ask me where to save it so we'll go to libraries pictures and I'll save it as a new print a new one all new shots and it's labeled a Chester so easy to find now you'll see there it's now a JPEG You can save it as any of this lot. It's just too complicated to go down, all the way down there wondering what you can save it as. But some you'll know. TIFF, PSP, Image, PSP, Animation, Mac, uh, BMP, TIFF, PNG. Uh, that's a, a semi-transparent file. But I'll just go with JPEG and save. Normal warning saying it's going to be merged in. Yes, save it. Now, if I'm going to put this on YouTube, it's still 5141 by 2863. That's 12, 12 million pixels, somewhere around there. Far too big. So I shall resize it by going up to the menu again, image resize and you can see I've got mine set on 50% but you can do 60 and it will change the one below if you have it set up that way with a padlock and you can have it sharper or smoother I sort of sit halfway and then click OK and it will resize it for you now that is 3085 it's down at the bottom there 3085 by 1718 RGB 16 bits per channel now that is more than big enough much more than big enough to go on Facebook or anywhere else so I shall save that yeah the limitations of the specified file format I know all about it thank you and we'll kiss out of it and yet when you go back down here there it is again untouched the, it's leaning at an angle the vehicles are in nothing at all like what you've done but you still have the original and I think that's pretty good and that's working in raw mode now you know go on try it <laughs> I 